Citizens in town and country are outraged by a move from one alderman to stymie efforts to get a state audit to investigate questionable spending. Residents called us to shine a light on this deal. Here is Elliot Davis with tonight's You Paid For It. Town and country residents have worked for months to gather signatures to bring in the state auditor. They're still short of the number of names they need. They want to get to the bottom of what they call questionable spending by City Hall. But Alderman Jonathan Benegas is making an unusual move to try to derail the citizen effort. He called on the Board of Aldermen to join him in asking citizens not to support the petition audit. Lindsay Butler is one of the petition organizers. Like if you're going to push back this hard, what are you trying to hide? So for me, I would hope that they would reconsider and realize that the petition effort is actually following the appropriate legal way for a citizen to redress their government. The resolution introduced by Alderman Jonathan Benegas reads in part, whereas this board of aldermen respectfully encourages citizens that have signed or are contemplating signing the petition for a state audit to consider withholding their signature and or removing their name. I asked Alderman Benegas for an interview but he never called back. But here's what he said during a meeting. He supported a private audit rather than a more comprehensive investigation by the Missouri State Auditor. It's important for people to know that a compromise to this issue would be to move forward with the audit that was recommended back in 2019 at the expense of approximately $25,000 rather than than the amount that would be spent on a state audit, which is somewhere in the neighborhood of $100,000 to $150,000. But town and country alderwoman Tiffany Frauchi sees things altogether different. You know, I've been an alderman for nearly six years, and this is the first time I've seen something like this, and, um, and I hope it will be the last time. The measure came before the board tonight. After all the pushback from citizens, the board decided to put off a decision for a couple of weeks. One citizen, though, did get to weigh in on the issue tonight. The resolution's cost complaints make no sense to me. The taxpayer bill for just one of the project failures and overruns that are detailed on our volunteer petition website and that triggered the petition drive dwarfs the estimated cost of a state auditor performance audit. Citizens tell me they just need a couple of hundred more signatures on their petition to get that state audit. This time, we're able to answer the call from town and country residents, but keep in mind, we're also here to help you. So if you spot questionable government spending, just go to our website, foxwhonow.com, or you can leave your tips and tell me what you think. After all, you paid for it.